been a, really an amazing story. As you know, he started at the Fister. It's amazing how analogous my dad and the hotel are. The Fister has been, you know, Steve's baby. Milwaukee's Fister Hotel was a mess in 1962, in a state of disrepair, facing bankruptcy. Meanwhile, Ben Marcus was growing his chain of movie theaters and restaurants. And out in California, Ben's 20-something son was starting a career as a real estate executive. And that's where our story begins. As Ben told the story to me, he had a 50-room motel in Manitowoc. And, and um, he had a friend who was a, a, a bankruptcy court judge. And by, by having 50 rooms in Manitowoc, the judge thought that qualified Ben to preside as the trustee over the auction of the Fister Hotel. And Ben reluctantly agreed, he said, but he showed up that day, and he was the only one that showed up. There were no bids on it. So he bought it for the minimum bid, and, and it was uh, in terrible, terrible shape. And that's when Steve Marcus returned from California to see what he could do. When the hotel was originally built, not every room had its own bathroom. One possibility was tearing it down and creating a parking lot. But Steve had other ideas. And within a few years, this rough gem had been polished. And there was a 23-story tower standing alongside it, topped by the crown room. Steve brought entertainment, live entertainment to Milwaukee in a very... He's not about pretense. He's not about, he's not about show. He's, he is about substance. That is my dad. He's, and he's doing what he, he just does what he thinks is the right thing to do every day. Doing the right thing meant helping another Milwaukee institution, Summerfest. My dad was involved with Summerfest from very early on and became the president in 1975 of the board. And he had two key things that to this day make the difference. And I would tell you, in my opinion, saved Summerfest. And that was, he wanted to have the initiative of the grounds had to be permanent and nice. So have permanent, nice grounds. And his other idea, which was key, which was bring in the local restaurants to be a part of the festival. It would be good for their businesses, good advertising for them, great for the project, great for the festival, and a win-win for everybody. A win-win. For the last 50 years, that's been the story of Steve Marcus and the Fister Hotel. That winning combination has contributed greatly to both the company and the community. And tonight, it's our opportunity to say thank you for that contribution. Thank you, Steve. It's been a real pleasure. I just want to say how privileged and honored that I was to work for the Marcus. And I want to say this to him. He's a great friend along with everything else. He'll really be a great friend. Yes, thank you, Steve, for 50 years of service for growing, strengthening, and innovating at the Marcus Corporation, for helping make Milwaukee what it is today, for giving all of us so many reasons to say thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all give a big thank you to Steve Marcus. Thank you.